Hello there, y'all. I hope you're having a wonderful time in your preparation for Christmas and Christmas parties. I've been doing appetizers, but today I'm gonna to start working on some desserts. And the dessert I'm doing today is for a get together um, uh, on Friday, and it's called a scotch cake. Now, I don't like scotch. I don't like, um, um, I, I don't drink whiskey, but I love the flavor that scotch adds to a cake, um, much more so than, than the rum cakes. So <clears throat> I've taken a, an old rum cake recipe and I've redone it to make it for a scotch cake. And <clears throat> I think you'll enjoy it. <clears throat> so let me show you what I'm gonna do. First thing is I'm going to um, use a yellow cake mix and just mix it in my mixer here. And I'm going to add a small uh, package of vanilla, instant vanilla pudding. Just gonna mix that in. And to that, I'm going to be adding four eggs, which I'll crack individually in this little container and put them in. I'm going to add a fourth a cup of the scotch, and this happens to be Johnny Walker Red Label. I buy a little bitty bottle like this, and I use it for making cakes. And then I'm going to put uh, three-fourths of a cup of water, so a fourth a cup of, of the scotch. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in. There's the fourth. And then I'm going to finish filling the cup with water, which will give us the three-fourths. Okay. And so I'm going to mix that in. Let me just get this down. I'm just going to pour that liquid in there. And I'm supposed to put in uh, half a cup of oil, so just vegetable oil. So we do that. Okay, half a cup of oil. And then I'm going to add those four eggs I was telling you about one at a time. And just mix it till it's all mixed really good. And I'm going to put it then into a, a tube pan. Now, I use a nice tube pan. Mine has the removable insert. Yours may not. Um, I like to use a tube pan because, you know, through the hole there, that's the heat will come up through the center and around the edges so it gets the cake done. Uh, you know, all throughout, so it's not having that center that's not done. And also, I don't use a bunt pan because I really want that flat bottom like this, the flat bottom, because when I dump the cake out, I'll be putting the glaze onto that flat bottom and I want it to you know, be able to soak into the cake and not just run off the cake. So let me finish putting these other two eggs in here. I'm going to uh, use some Baker's Joy or some kind of spray. You may have a different kind of uh, spray for baking, but spray the inside of your pan really good and then put the batter in. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the cake in the pan now and I set my pan on top of a little baking sheet too, just in case it were to leak out from under the bottom where the the insert fits. I have, I've had, have had that happen before. Not usually with this cake though. So let me get it in the oven. The oven is set at 350 
and it's going to bake for about, let me see what it says on here, for about um, an hour. So, in fact, I think it's supposed to be at 325 for about an hour. So, let me get that in the oven, and I'll get back. Okay, y'all, I just took this out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool for a little bit, and then flip it out of this pan, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with the um, next step with putting the glaze on it. Catch y'all in a few minutes. Hey y'all, I'm back. I'm sorry I had to take a quick trip to the grocery store and now I'm back and I'm making the sauce, um, the glaze that'll go on top of the cake. And let me tell you what I've put in the pan so far. It was one stick of butter. Here it is cooking. Um, a fourth a cup of water and a cup of sugar. And so that's just, you know, the butter's just now starting to melt. This has got to get boiling really good and boil for five minutes. And then I'm gonna do the next step. So let me get back with you as soon as it, that happens. Okay, I'm back. It's almost ready. It's got like a half a minute left. I wanted to show you what I've done though. I've, um, oops, gonna have to turn it down this way so you can see. All right, I've taken this wooden spoon, which has a pretty narrow little handle, and I've poked holes all in the cake. Very easy to do, and it makes a good size hole. So that's going to be for um, being able to get the glaze to go down in the cake as well as being on top. Okay, so this has been five minutes now. I'm turning the fire off, and I'm going to pour in a fourth of a cup of scotch. So. You can see how it sizzles when I do that. It burns that alcohol right out of there. It leaves that delicious flavor. So now what I'll be doing is just drizzling it all over the cake and into all these holes. And you can see how it just goes right in there. It makes for a delicious, delicious cake. So let me keep doing this and I will get back with you when it's done. Okay, it's completed and you can see how it's given the cake such a nice shine uh, to have that glaze on there. And it will just really have the best flavor ever. What I'll probably do is just go ahead and slice pieces and lay them out on, the, on a platter so it won't really matter about these holes showing on the top. The flavor has gotten down in the cake, and that's what really matters. So, but if you don't really want holes showing and you want to leave it like that, you could just, you know, put a little bit on, wait for it to soak in, put a little bit more and wait for it to soak in. I've done it that way as well. But it's gorgeous, um, and best of all, it just tastes so delicious. So, I hope y'all enjoy it, and I hope you'll try it. And it's, um, uh, you know, everybody that's ever had it just really loves it. So, anyhow, hope you'll uh, give it a try. Also, go ahead and subscribe and follow my channel. Thanks. Love y'all.